Dibor is for those who want more. Dibor is for those who want to go deeper. Dibor actually was never meant to be a real school, so to speak, as much as it was just a dream. Dibor is for those who are tired of the mediocre, who are tired of compromise, and who want to know what did God actually say, and what is He actually saying to me. Uh, a dream that took me almost 10 years to write about. Dibor is for those who want more than just milk and want to eat the meat of the word. Seeing and having a heart for young people to be raised in the kingdom, uh, to be defenders of truth, of, of those who are too weak to defend themselves, and to uphold the standards that God has outlined in scripture for us. Dibor is for those who are willing to be more than just the average superficial person who want to have depth, who want to have intimacy with the Holy Spirit. That dream was a fictional story, um, but somewhere in the mysteries of God, he had a bigger idea for it, one that I could have never imagined the day I first penned the pages of Rise of the Dibor. I'm uh, 17. My name is Michael. I'm from Costa Rica. I had no idea what to expect. And I came from Burma. <laughs> We're seeing students open up the Word of God and hear from it in spectacular and miraculous ways. Things that are not only applicable but are deep as well. We also are seeing our students live out community. We're seeing them join together in the Spirit of God. This is a new experience for me. a solitude time that means you are not allowed to talk, you are not allowed to pray or read or you listen to music, you just listen to God's word and spend time with him, give him time to react. Taking your time and just spending it and just sitting at the Father's feet. And I was walking at this river, it was a beautiful sunset and I pretend holding Jesus' hand and sitting there watching the sunset, leaning on the side. It was something new which just goes through my heart and moves my heart. I'm going to give my time to you. I'm going to give my life to you because nothing else in this world matters. God told me to move here. I knew that he was doing something exciting. So it's the challenge from God for me to be servants before leaders.
defend righteousness and truth in their generation. If you want to improve your physical, spiritual, and mental lives, that's it, I think. Oh, <laughs>